Now, I would like to introduce the next topic that is comparing quantities. Now, we are often required to compare any two quantities in our daily life. The quantities may be the marks of the students or the heights of the students or the salaries of two persons. Now, let us consider the heights of two persons. The height of Raj equals to 150 centimeters and the height of Kiran equals to 75 centimeters. Now, how to compare the heights of these two persons, Raj and Kiran? So, here we can observe that the height of the Raj is two times the height of the Kiran, and the height of the Kiran is half the height of the Raju. Now, here we can say that these two quantities can be compared how much one quantity is how many times one quantity is of the other quantity or we can compare that how much part one quantity is of the other quantity so here we can write these two quantities can also be compared with the ratio now the ratio of the two heights 150 centimeters is to 75 centimeters while comparing any two quantities, the two quantities must be in the same units. Then only the quantities can be compared. Now here, 150 is to 75. So then 75 twos are 150, 75 ones are 75. So the ratio of the heights of the two persons, two students, Raj and Kiran is 2 is to 1. And if you take another, another situation, the speed of Cheetah equals to 120 km per hour and the speed of a man equals to 20 km per 1 hour. So here the speed of the cheetah is 6 times that of the man. Now if you take the ratio or we can take the speed of the man is 1 6 the speed of the cheetah. Now if you take the ratio of the speeds of the cheetah and the man. Now we can compare these two speeds by ratio. Ratio equals to 120 km per hour is to 20 km per hour. So here km per hour, km per hour get cancelled. Then we get 120 is to 20. So 21s are 20 and 26 are 120. So this equals to 6 is to 1. So any two quantities can be compared. But while comparing any two quantities using the ratio, the two quantities must be of the same units. Now let us see the equivalent ratios. Now what are the equivalent ratios? Now two different ratios can be compared with each other to know whether they are equivalent or not. So how to compare two ratios? For example, the first ratio is 1 is to 2 and the second ratio is 2 is to 3. By comparing these two ratios, we have to decide which ratio is bigger and which ratio is smaller. Then how to compare two ratios? Now to compare two ratios, first we will write the two ratios in the fraction form so 1 is to 2 can be written as 1 by 2 and 2 is to 3 can be written as 2 by 3 now after writing the ratios in the fraction form then we should convert these two fractions to the like fractions so we should make the denominators equal now this 1 by 2 can be written as so 1 by 2 into 3 by 3 so this equals to 3 1 are 3 by 2 3 are 6 now this equals to 2 by 3 into 2 by 2 so this equals to 2 2 are 4 by 3 2 are 6 now when you compare these two fractions so in the two fractions the denominators are equal and if you compare the numerators you are 3 less than 4 so you are 3 less than 4 so then 3 by 6 less than 4 by 6 
Now 3 by 6 is same as 1 by 2 and that is same as 1 is to 2. So your 1 is to 2 is less than and 4 by 6 is same as 2 by 3 and that is same as the ratio 2 is to 3. Now 4 by 6 is same as 2 by 3 and that is same as 2 is to 3. So the ratio 1 is to 2 is less than 2 is to 3. So to compare two ratios first you should convert them. You should write them in the fraction form then the two fractions should be converted into the like fractions then we can compare the two ratios. Now let us see the next topic keeping things in proportion and getting solutions. Now whenever we draw the picture in any paper or in any drawing sheet now the picture should not be the it's it should not be too small or too big and it should be proportioned to the size of the paper and for example if you construct any building so that building should be proportioned to our height now for example the height of the person should be should match with the height of the building now if you take the measure for example height of person by height of height of person in drawing by height of building now height of the person in drawing by height of the building in drawing this should be equal to actual height of the person by actual height of the building now when you consider the flags of any country so all the almost all the flags will be in the ratio 1.5 is to 1 or approximately 1.7 is to 1 so 1.5 is to 1 or 1.7 is to 1 so this is approximately equal to 3 is to 2 and when you take the Indian postcard so this also will be in the ratio of 3 is to 2 so the if, if you take the length 3 times then the breadth will be 2 times so this is approximate ratio of any postcard Indian postcard now when you draw anything so that should be proportion 